Hello. I thought I'd share with you a little technique that I've used over the years for all sorts of different occasions that will give you a completely invisible attachment point on the top of the balloon or indeed anywhere that you want to put it but usually on the top of the balloon so you can attach balloons together without any visible or very small um, attachment point. It's, it's kind of like the raisin twist that you may be familiar with where you put a small bubble inside the balloon and then pull it out and attach it round but you do it on the inside so it's an internal raisin and I'll just show you how it's done. It's quite simple. Um, you can, do, If you want it to be completely invisible then use monofilament but if you want to perhaps fly your balloons upside down to create flying Easter eggs and things like that then you can use ribbon. I'm going to use ribbon so that it's more visible on camera but you can use whatever you like. You Firstly you take whatever you're going to suspend your balloon from um, and tie a bit of scrap latex around it a couple of times to create your raisin like that and then trim off any excess because you want this to be as small as possible just trim it off like so so you've got a very small bubble tied around your ribbon or your monofilament or whatever you're using and then I would suggest that you then tie a knot in your ribbon or monofilament to stop that little um, raisin sliding so that it stays put where you want it to be. Okay, I'll cut the, the ribbon off because I need another short piece later. Next, inflate your balloon fully. And what we want to do now is to push the raisin through and out the other side. So I'm going to put it on the top of the balloon here. And then I'm going to push it through as I deflate the balloon so that it comes out of the neck on the other side. Fold the neck back and you can just see the raisin there, which you then grab through the latex like so and by doing it that way the latex the balloon is stretched really tightly over the raisin so that you won't lose any of the, the latex which will then uh, mean that the balloon is not distorted once you reinflate it. We need to trap that in place so you can tie it around with um, another scrap of modelling balloon, a little bit of monofilament. I personally find a little bit of ribbon to be the easiest because it, it grips better, I can, uh, I can tie it more easily, it's not slippy. And then once again trim off the excess. This is particularly important if you're going to try and do something like this because what we've done here is to put the raisin into a clear printed balloon and then double stuff it with a colour. So we need to keep this as small as possible and the minimum amount of, of extra stuff so that it's as invisible as possible. Pull it back the other way and there is our attachment point and now we can inflate. As normal there's no distortion on the balloon at all, there's no visible bubble on the top, we've just got some magically attached ribbon on the top of the balloon there. And that means that if you want to create a very long lasting display, window display or something like that, like these three behind, you can do it on monofilament and these will last indefinitely because they're air filled. Um, you can create all sorts of effects, flying them at different angles. You can make five inch balloons fly by attaching them that way. There's lots and lots and lots of possibilities, not just Easter eggs.